over here at Harrington Beach State Park and what are you? <laughs> really? Where? It's the 1st of November, and we're off to try and see as many species today as possible. To gear up for the first of the year, we're taking advantage of the last waves of fall migration to try and find as many species as possible in a single day. With several rare birds being reported in late October, our route is taking us up to Fond du Lac, then east towards Lake Michigan. Our first stop is a hummingbird feeder where a rare rufous hummingbird has been visiting. On the way there, we tallied our first species from the freeway. Got it. It was rough. It was a rough video. We got our first bird, once again, American crow, just like the first of the year. And we saw a flock of starlings already too, but American crow's the first. Along the way, we also saw flocks of sandhill cranes, red-winged blackbirds, and morning doves. But we've had a good stretch of road birding here on the interstate. Um, we've had some flyover ducks, we saw a ton of geese, and we just actually had two snow buntings fly in front of the car, which was cool to see on this kind of road. When we arrived at the house where the hummingbird had been seen, we picked up some of the more common feeder birds. After a short while, the rufous hummingbird made an appearance. Awesome. The rufous hummingbird spends its breeding season in the Pacific Northwest all the way from California to Alaska. Each fall, on the way to their wintering grounds in Mexico, a few of them end up in Wisconsin, usually turning to hummingbird feeders for nourishment if flowers have all gone dormant. Like all hummingbirds, rufous hummingbirds have extremely fast wing beats. They have been clocked anywhere between 52 and 62 wing beats per second. Are you guys psyched? I am so stoked. Internally. I can't tell if you're serious or not. I just got a state bird, man. <laughs> Where are we headed off to next? We are headed to Sheboygan, North Point. There has been an eared grebe reported there, and there has been a harlequin duck reported there. And we are firing on all cylinders, seeing a rufous hummingbird within like five minutes of getting here. So. We're doing good. The Rob got a state bird, which is rare for Rob. He's been birding since he was like five years old. From the road, we were able to spot a few more species, including American robins, pigeons, and more. I missed it. You, you missed, missed the it. kestrel? Yeah. yeah it, we, well, I we, saw it, but we didn't get video. We were moving too quick. We saw a kestrel. I don't know if Rob saw it. Depends how good of a birder he is. <laughs> He's like, I saw five kestrels. <laughs> <laughs> I saw 20 kestrels. That was like in a sag zim when we all left that bog and he was like, did you guys get the black backed? <laughs> yeah, buddy! Where have you been? Did you guys get the black backs? No. no. <laughs> now we saw wild turkeys and whoever was operating the camera failed to get a video. Dude, you're supposed to be doing this while driving. Well, maybe see more. There's lots of open fields. After a short drive, we arrived in Sheboygan. The Sheboygan lakefront is composed of a variety of habitats that creates an attractive stopping location for birds as they migrate through the Mississippi Flyway. We immediately noticed some of the more common species out on the water. After a short while, we located one of our target species, a rare harlequin duck. Alright, so right behind me we have a harlequin duck. And these are actually pretty rare in Wisconsin. We do get a couple of them every year as they fly from their northern grounds in Alaska down south, flying right by Lake Michigan. They love really turbid, wavy water. They'll be in fast-moving streams and along the ocean front where there's heavy currents and tides. 
So it's really cool to see one here. And you can look behind me and tell he's loving this water around him. He just hopped right up on the shore before we got here. So he's in a good place right now and we're feeling good about it. Moving from the lakefront to the Sheboygan Harbor, we were able to pick up an American coot and also our third rare bird for the day. The eared grebe is a rare but annual visitor to Wisconsin. The range is the western part of the United States all the way to the Mississippi River. During migration, eared grebes fly only at night and due to their lengthy stay at staging areas, have the latest southward migration of any North American bird species. From the lake, we moved inland to Indian Mound Park, where we picked up some woodland species, including a golden crown kinglet, kinglet, mm -hmm. yeah. downy woodpecker, red-breasted nuthatch, and a heard but not seen great tit. After our quick walk through Indian Mound Park, we traveled southeast to Harrington Beach State Park to survey some more open water. While scoping, we picked up two migratory goose species. We're here at Harrington Beach State Park and... What? Are you... <laughs> really? Where? We got some white fronted geese and snow geese. It's looking pretty good so far. Maybe we can find some scoters too. From Harrington Beach, we continued south in hopes of finding the elusive scoters in Milwaukee. On the way, we managed to add a few more birds to our list. Oh, I got it. It's so far away. I hear a cardinal that Rye pointed out, but don't know where he is. After checking a few spots, we were able to locate both of our target scoter species just north of Bradford Beach. So you got him now? Yep. Got Feeling pleased with our scoter sightings, we made a brief stop at McKinley Beach, where we were surprised to find a late migrating shorebird. So we just picked up a ruddy turnstone, and what happened is we stopped at McKinley and we didn't see anything. We headed over there because we saw some bird we wanted to see what it was. It turned out to be a surf scoter. Then as we were walking back, all of a sudden this ruddy is just right in front of us. So it's awesome to pick up a bird that you're not even expecting to see, and sometimes they're camouflaged so well that you don't even know they're there. So Basically, almost right on top. So we uh, gave him some space, and he's uh, still cruising the beach. And we're gonna head up and see what else we can find. He really blends in. That's really cool. After taking our last looks at Lake Michigan, we headed northwest to one of the most popular birding destinations in the Midwest, Horicon Marsh. There, we hope to capitalize on waterfowl migration. When we arrived at the north end of the marsh, we weren't disappointed, as the open water was filled with birds of all shapes and sizes. After birding on the busy road, we headed deeper into the marsh and were able to locate a few new species. Rusties? Yep. They're ringneck ducks. Ready, Merg.
After finding several new birds at Horicon Marsh, we headed home. Taking advantage of late fall migration, we totaled 57 bird species compared to the 46 we found on New Year's Day. All in all, we traveled over 250 miles and saw several birds considered rare in the state of Wisconsin. With just a few months until the first of the year, we felt pleased with our day of birding and looking forward to our next big day challenge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. What you doing there? He's got the whole harbor to himself. He thinks he's so freaking cold. He thinks he's better than us. He probably does. <laughs>